Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have a video for you guys of me feeding our two box turtle ladies. Their names are R2D2 and Tammy. The other one is named Mama but she's not in this clip and so I'm chopping up some uh, yellow squash, yellow summer squash and an apple for the turtles and so I, I make sure they're sort of cut up into chunks so they're a little bit easier for the turtles to get to. This is R2D2. Like I said, she's a box turtle. Uh, I think I said that. <laughs> so they're all box turtles. You can see her shell, that top shell is called the carapace. It's really faded and really brown, so it's my um, personal opinion that she must be fairly old. These turtles can live over 50 years, and so they're, I don't really have a good way of gauging how old R2D2 is. But one thing you might notice on top of her carapace is a crack running from front to back. So when she was brought to us, she uh, basically was split open front to back. Uh, you can see inside um, her carapace. It was a pretty awful uh, injury. And that's Tammy in the back that just showed up. And um, so we took her to a reptile vet who basically glued her back together. And we weren't totally sure if she would pull through, but she did. Turtles are very hardy animals as our tortoises and so she pulled through she's been doing great for um nearly the two years that we've had her and so um one of her favorite foods is apples but i also like to give them vegetables too so they can get some other nutrients just beside the nutrients that you get in fruit and i don't free feed excuse me feed fruit that often because of the sugar content in fruit can be a lot for um, turtles and especially tortoises to process. At home, my tortoise cupcake, my Russian tortoise, I very, very sparingly give him fruit. I only give him, um, like, one, I've only given him, like, one strawberry, uh, like, every two to three months. And so these girls, uh, they get usually tomatoes, they'll get apples, bananas, they love bananas, um, squash, they also will eat insects that get in their enclosure. They'll also eat mushrooms that grow in their enclosure. And they'll also eat some plant material too, but they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. This is basically what they subsist on. Box turtles are one of the most omnivorous of all turtle species. So they'll eat a lot of meat material and they'll also eat a lot of plant material too and fruits and vegetables. And so in the wild, they eat uh, usually a huge variety of food types and in captivity you should really re try to replicate that as much as possible if you do have captive box turtles depending on the regulations in your state before you even think about ever getting a box turtle as a pet keep in mind that these are not um, really the best pets they uh, can have somewhat particular care requirements and um, like I was just saying regulations vary from state to state whether or not you can keep one here in my state of Georgia, it's actually illegal to keep a box turtle as a pet. It's illegal to take one from the wild and take it home and uh, collect it and things like that. So at our park, we have an educational permit that allows us to keep native species like these box turtles here. So that's why we have them.
And just a bonus clip for you guys. I was driving the other day in my county and I found this cotton mouth. I turned around and came back to it. I was afraid that somebody would hit it with their car because um, some people unfortunately do that. And he was right there on the side of the road. So I had my snake hook with me. I have this small snake hook. I also have a larger snake hook actually on the way, a new one. So I uh, moved him off the side of the road so he wouldn't get hit by a car. And just so you guys know, this is a venomous snake. This is one of the six venomous snakes here in Georgia. So you have to be very careful. You see he's gaping his mouth at me. He's actually upside down, which I thought was pretty funny. But he's gaping his mouth at me, which is a signal that he wants me to back off. So I just want to show you, um, show him to you guys. Just another quick look. Um, I only interacted with him for really just like 30 seconds, just enough to move him off the road and show him to you guys real quick. You can see he's not like lunging at me or, or wanting to chase me or anything like that. These animals are not as aggressive as some people and many people like to believe they are. I moved him off the road, let him go, and he went off on his own. So um, I was happy to get the chance to help him out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.